Hello there! This is Amanda Wilkson of Amanda Wilkson Tarot. It is Sunday, May the 15th, 2022. Welcome to my channel. I'd like to say thank you to my new subscribers. I do appreciate you watching and I appreciate you subscribing. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. Glad to have you. If you are a long-term subscriber, I do thank you for your continued support. If you have not done so already, could you please like, share, and subscribe? Thank you. How are you doing today, Libra? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're taking care of yourself and the people around you and vice versa. I hope you know you're beautiful, you're gorgeous, and you have that beautiful star shining bright inside of you. This is a general reading. It will not resonate with every Libra out there. Take what does and leave the rest. And there's no gender in tarot. Cut in the deck for Libra. Spirit. Bottom of the deck, Ace of Swords, new honest, clear communication. I made brownies, they smell so good. First card out. The Ten of Wands. Wands are fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Wands are red in this deck. We've got red flowers, a red butterfly, and red buildings. This is the end of a burdensome cycle. You have been carrying a burden for way too long and it's time to drop that burden down and move on to a passionate new beginning. Ten Wands. What is crossing this? The Hermit. Virgo Energy, the Hermit. This talks about healing. Um, here's that star in a jar that you all have. The beautiful casket. He's been in here for a while. His hair is shaggy. His beard is shaggy. This is talking about healing, taking some time to yourself to rest, relax, recuperate, rejuvenate. Well, if this is the end of a burnum some cycle, then healing is what you're doing. Consciously known. Four of Swords. Minor Arcana Hermit. Swords are air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. As you can see, um, this person is uh, attaching the top onto a casket. We've got some candles and it looks like plants over here. This is also talking about healing. Taking some time to yourself to rest, relax, recuperate, rejuvenate. Same energy. Hermit and the Four of Swords. What have you been going through, Libra? Unconscious. Ten Pentacles. Pentacles are Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Ultimate financial abundance. Money, money. This is the Canadian dream, the American dream. Um, pentacles talk about coins, money. We've got red. There are green vines up here. Green down here. Our butterfly is green. This is the house. The property, the family, that doesn't sound right. This is the house, the property, the family, couple, children if you want, pets if you want, ultimate financial abundance. Recent past, the fool, the start of a brand new beautiful journey, taking a leap of faith. This is Aries energy, you could see the sunshine behind him he's got his sombrero on he's got his poncho he's got his bag packed got his guitar there's the butterfly to fly off the edge of a cliff start of a brand new beautiful journey taking a leap of faith near future the knight of pentacles the knight of money knights are less mature energy than kings or queens Pentacles are coins, money. We've got some green vines. He's got a sack of money here, a green sombrero, a green shirt. Um, this person is independent, grounded, balanced, stable. Business person, makes their own money, takes care of their money. But this is a very slow, slow, slow moving energy. This person does have a solid offer for you. But by the time they bring that offer to you, you've probably moved on. I call this my friend zone card. By the time they kind of ask you out, you're like interested in somebody else. Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Money. Where do you find yourself? Three of Cups. Let your friends help you. 
This talks about happiness, friendship, reunion. These three people are getting together, having drinks, probably haven't seen each other for a while. Um, if you're in the, if you're healing, then yes. Talk to your friends, let them help you. Also, this is a good time to reconnect with old friends. External influences. The Queen of Cups, Queen of Love. Cups are water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Cups are blue in this deck. Um, she's got a blue sombrero, a blue dress, blue flowers. She's also got heart-shaped eyes and nose and this gorgeous, bright red and silver heart-shaped brooch. She's loving, she's caring, she's compassionate, she's a nurturer, she's a good parent, she's a good partner. Queen of Cups, Queen of Love. I like that energy. Hopes and or fears. The Two of Wands. Wands are fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This talks about moving forward. It's like there is a fork in the road and you need to choose a path. This can also talk about travel. You may need to travel for work or to see the person you are interested in moving forward. As I said, wands are red in this deck. We got a red background, a red sombrero, a red shirt, some red flowers. Moving forward and overall outcome. The victory card, six of wands. Wands are fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There's some red in this card as well. Um, are you famous? This talks about, it's like you're in a parade. People are on the sidewalk. They're clapping and cheering. People are watching you in a positive way. You may have some kind of social media presence. Um, Instagrammer, TikToker, YouTuber. People are watching you in a positive way. They are admiring you. Bottom of the deck, Ace of Swords. Swords are air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Swords are all about honest, clear communication. Aces are new, so new, honest, clear communication. You can see the sunlight um, shining. We've got this gorgeous um, sword with the skull. Swords are yellow in this deck. New, honest, clear communication. Queen of Wands, Queen of Passion, Queen of Fire. Wands are fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Wands are red in this deck. She's got a red sombrero, a red shirt. There's red flowers. She's also got big hoop earrings, which I love, and a candle. She's good looking, charismatic, fun to be with, sexy and exciting. Queen of Wands, Queen of Passion. Three of Pentacles. Pentacles are Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. He's got a red printed shirt. Um, you can see him. He is watering these three skulls on the ground. Pentacles are Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Talks about working on a solid foundation with someone. This could be you in a work situation, or this could be you and your person working on a solid foundation. Ooh, the Empress. There's your, there's your energy, Libra, the Empress. She's independent, self-sufficient, divine feminine, maternal goddess energy. She is sitting in her throne, sitting in her power. She uh, knows her worth. She does not get out of her throne for anybody or anything. Um, it's gorgeous. I love, I love this card. I love the background. Um, she's always birthing new ideas. If you're pregnant, congratulations. Or if you have a pregnancy in your family. Also, uh, new ideas regarding hobbies, ways to make money. She's got her fan and a scepter. Independent, self-sufficient, divine feminine, maternal goddess energy. Your energy, Libra. And the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Communication. As I said, knights are less mature than kings or queens. Swords are all about honest, clear communication. You need to bring the 
Knight of Swords, Honest Clear Communication, or he will use that sword and cut you right out of his life. But since he is immature, he can come off as blunt, brash, abrasive, and can rush in and out of your life. Not a consistent energy. Swords are yellow in this deck. We've got a yellow background, yellow vest, yellow flowers. An inconsistent energy. Inconsistent. So we had end of a burdensome cycle, healing, healing again, ultimate financial abundance, start of a brand new beautiful journey, let your friends help you, queen of love, moving forward, the victory card, new honest clear communication, the queen of passion. Ugh, they're falling. <laughs> Working on a solid foundation with someone. You are the Empress. Independent, self-sufficient, divine, feminine, goddess energy. And we've got the my friend zone, Knight of Pentacles, and the inconsistent Knight of Swords. Okay. Knights are immature. You should deal with kings and queens. Breathe. Take some time to yourself. You could see her. She looks like she's in um, some kind of uh, yoga position. Is that yoga? I don't know. Um, breathe. Heal. Calm yourself down. New life. You can see her. She's on a pedestal. Her, she got her wings here. Taking a brand new beautiful journey. Taking a leap of faith. And time for a nap. I'm feeling that way right now. Which can go ahead or go with this healing energy. Love cards. Honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Hmm. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Three of Cups. Bottom of the deck, flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Hmm, Libra. Oh, you did have the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Passion. The Emperor. Oh, we got some divine counterparts here. The Emperor. This is Aries energy. The Emperor. He's sitting in his throne, sitting in his power, knows his worth. Uh, independent, self-sufficient, divine, masculine, paternal energy. Goes with the Empress. Um, he can come off as blunt with am I aware the highway type attitude, but the Emperor stands up and does what's best for him and he doesn't take shit from anybody bottom of the deck the wheel of fortune the wheel spinning for in an upward direction for you this is talking about success we've got a whole bunch of people and animals here the wheel of fortune the wheel is spinning in an upward direction here it is success so we had the Knight of Pentacles, my friend zone card, and my inconsistent Knight of Swords, Knight of Communication. End of a burdensome cycle, healing, healing, ultimate financial abundance, starting a brand new beautiful journey, let your friends help you. The Queen of Love, moving forward. And the Victory card, people are watching you in a positive way. New, honest, clear communication. The Queen of Passion, working on a solid foundation with someone. And the Empress, your energy, independent, self-sufficient, divine, feminine, maternal, goddess energy. 
is our energy, Libra. Breathe. New life. Time for a nap. Honeymoon. Let your friends help you. Flirt. The Emperor and the Wheel of Fortune. All right, Libra. Um, healing, ultimate financial abundance, taking a leap of faith, Queen of Cups, Queen of Love, new honest, clear communication. And you are the Empress, independent, self-sufficient, divine, feminine, maternal goddess energy. All right, Libra. Have a great rest of your day. I will speak to you soon. This is Amanda Wilkinson of Amanda Wilkinson Tarot. Bye for now.